Happening at midday, a mother and son charged in connection to the disappearance of a missing teen were in court this morning for the first time. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 Midday. I'm Rachel Ramsey. Mikael Bowles and his mother, Tywisha Peterson, are charged in connection to the disappearance of 17-year-old Imperial Stewart. NBC4's Matthew Herchick was in those appearances. He joins us live with now with us with new details from the courtroom. Matthew. Good morning, Rachel. The 40 year old Peterson and her 18 year old son are both facing obstruction of justice felony charges, but prosecutors revealed in court this morning that what they now know is a, an obstruction of justice case they believe will ultimately turn into a homicide case. Now, Peterson and Bowles both appeared before the judge separately this morning. They appeared in the courtroom virtually. The judge issued both suspects $500,000 bonds and ordered the pair to stay away from each other. Now, this all stems from an incident nearly two weeks ago when Bowles and his brother, 20-year-old Michael Bowles, were named as persons of interest in Stewart's disappearance. Court records indicate that Mikhail Bowles was shot inside of a car while Imperial Stewart was being robbed. However, Bowles denied being in the car or having any knowledge of Stewart's disappearance. Court records go on to say that Peterson and her other son, Michael Bowles, then met up at a home in East Columbus to discuss getting rid of the car. While Peterson denied doing so, eyewitnesses told police otherwise. Now, police eventually found the car burned out in Fairfield County, but authorities did confirm that they recovered forensic evidence from that car. And a prosecutor in court said that this started as a robbery, has turned into a missing persons case, and again, they believe that it will ultimately turn into a homicide case. Both suspects are due back in court on October 12th. Meanwhile, the search for Imperial Stewart is continuing, and police are asking any Anyone with any information to contact them or Crime Stoppers immediately. Welcome for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchick, NBC4.